You know what theme that is? Give you a guess. That was the theme when I was a little kid and I would go all stealth and everybody was asleep and I'd sneak down around Christmas time to try to get some of my mom's extra baked goods because I couldn't sleep and I was hungry. And I had to be a sleuth because if I got caught, ooh, was I in trouble. Or it's the theme from Mission Impossible. Well, all the Mission Impossibles. But right now we're talking about Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. The new movie starring Tom Cruise, Simon Pegg, Jeremy Renner, Ving Rhames, and Alec Baldwin. In this movie, bring it down for a second. In this movie, Ethan, Ethan Hunt and his IMF group are pretty much disbanded by the government. They, the CIA doesn't want to support them anymore. I mean, what's up with you, CIA? Don't you know of all the good that the IMF does? It kind of reminded me of when I was watching 24, and as we got into the later seasons, that the government just didn't appreciate Jack Bauer. It's like, do you not understand how many times Jack Bauer saved the world? Do you not understand how many times that the IMF saved the world, but now you want to dis you want to you know disband them? Well, you picked a bad time to disband them, CIA, because there's this group out called the Syndicate. Doesn't that sound cool, right? The Syndicate, and they're a bunch of baddies who are out to take out the IMF. Oh, what a good movie. Now, when you get a Mission Impossible movie, we'll get to Tom Cruise in a second, but you've got such a fun supporting cast. Simon Pegg, who's a great comedic, comedic actor who brings a lot of excitement and laughs to this movie. You've got uh, Jeremy Renner, who, of course, you know, he's an Avenger, so you definitely want him on your side. And you've got Ving Rhames. I love Ving Rhames because Ving Rhames has his hat on, but then he wears it sideways and he's always ready to do whatever he needs to do to get the job done. Of course, we saw Bing Rames in the earlier Mission Impossible movies, and he always seems to pop up. He's just so cool. He's just so badass. I love Bing Rames. Every time I see Bing Rames, though, I always think of Pulp Fiction. Anyways, that's just me. So let's talk about Tom Cruise. It's a Mission Impossible movie, so you know what that means? We got Karate Chop running. You ever notice how Tom Cruise runs? Karate Chop in the air. I love this man. He's awesome. A lot of people think Tom Cruise is bizarre, and I don't know, maybe he is. I don't care about his extracurricular activities. I care about his activities on the screen, and his activities on the screen are hilarious, and they're exciting. Here's a guy who, in these movies, have jumped off tall buildings. He's been, like, thrown off of subways. Uh, he's basically, or subways or trains, and now he's, like, he's like hanging onto a plane for dear life as it's flying. I want to know what type of insurance the studios take out on Mr. Cruz. It's crazy. So is this the best movie in the Mission Impossible series? Because there's going to be a comparison. For me, I will say no. My favorite movie was Ghost Protocol. I thought it was fantastic. However, this one isn't really lacking that far behind. It's a very enjoyable movie. It's got a great villain. It's probably, um, it's probably one of the best action movies that's come out this summer. It's super awesome. I really enjoyed it, and I strongly recommend that you check it out. Giving it a B plus. Um, towards the end of the movie, in the third act, towards the end of the third act, it was dragging on a bit. But then the way that it movie that the way the way that the movie ends completely made up for it. But still a B plus, which isn't bad. You should go and check it out and see it. It's very exciting. Uh, do you need to see it in IMAX? I don't know. Do you need to see most movies in IMAX these days? I mean, you should go and check it out and definitely see it on the big screen. Don't wait for this to come to your to your home, uh, to like to Netflix or whatever. This is a movie that needs to be seen on a big screen. I'm very excited about it. I thought it was awesome. More karate chop running. That's what he does. He's like chop in the air. Do it in slow motion. Who runs like that? But he's Tom Cruise, so he hangs off of planes. I stand in my living room and talk about movies. So if he wants to karate chop run, let him karate chop run. Karate Chop, run yourself to the movie theater and check this out. I thought it was a great movie, very entertaining. There was some funny moments or some serious moments or some great action in it. All the great action scenes are not in the trailer, so congratulations to the, to the, to the production company on that. But let's go and see it. CFL underscore fan on Twitter is how you can get a hold of me on Twitter. Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier is the Facebook page. WittyWittier.com is my website where you can go and see all exciting information and different blogs and things that I've got going on, like my summer bucket list, my uh, my interviews, my my movie reviews. It's great. But don't, don't just keep that information to yourself. Tell your friends. Share, like, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. I would also appreciate you letting me know if you have a chance to see this movie, what you thought about it. And I just told you how you can get a hold of me, so it's as easy as that. Thank you so much for checking out this blog. And I'll see you at the movies.